friend of mine sent me this video of a shaky footage, okay? And he's trying to track something to one of these buildings. So he said he's having a hard time, so we're going to see what's going on here, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is try to find a good tracking point, and there's several of them. So I'm going to add a behavior, motion tracking, analyze motion. That'll bring up my little crosshair. I'm going to go up here and put it on this little... Let's see if I can find it here. This little white strip here. And if you want to hold the option key to see if you can find a better spot, you can do that. It's really up to you. Okay, so now I've got that set. Let's go over here and analyze our tracking. Let's let it go through. This is, I assume, what he's tried to do. We'll let it finish out here, tracking. Pretty shaky footage, isn't it? So we're going to attach, I don't know, some kind of cheap generic little flame to this, just to see. Okay, now we have that. Let's go back to our beginning. Let's go to our library, and let's bring in some a little bit of fire here. And uh, drop it right there. Let me open this up. Now we have our fire but it's not sticking okay so let's go back to the beginning let's select our fire let's go to add behavior motion tracking match move we'll go to our inspector and under our match move behavior I'm going to the source I'm going to set it to the analyze motion like so and let's play it and I can see where he's having problems now if you look real close it's not the most accurate track okay so I'm going to give you a uh, little tip to do, okay? So let's get rid of our fire, and let's get rid of our analyze motion, and go back to where we was in the beginning. The first thing I'm going to do before I track anything, I'm going to motion, motion tracking stabilize. I'm going to stabilize this thing. I'm going to make it smooth, see if that helps. I believe it will a little bit. We'll have the border zoom, and we can adjust the shape, scale, and the rotation too if you want. Let's analyze this out. Go back to the beginning. Analyze. Let's let the smooth cam go through and do its work. If you're having a tough time tracking something, you know, you can temporarily boost the saturation to make something stand out. You can temporarily adjust the contrast to make certain things stand out, and then adjust it back to normal after your track. Or you can do something like this, which is use stabilize. Um, of course, we could go into shake and do all this probably maybe a little better, a little faster. But this is what he's using, so we're going to use what he's using. Okay. Let's almost done. We're on frame 85 of 120. Almost. Okay, now it looks like our smooth cam, not smooth cam, it's not smooth cam like in Final Cut Pro and Shake, it's stabilized, like the stabilized node in Shake. So now when I play this, we have smoothed footage. Now what we're going to do is, after we've smoothed it, we're going to go back, select our clip, add behavior, motion tracking, analyze motion. Let's go up here, and let's select a good spot to do this. And we will analyze. Now here it's going, analyzing the smoothed footage. And as you can see, it's going a lot quicker than the uh, stabilized was. So now we have our analyzed motion behavior after we've applied our smooth cam. So now Let's go to our library, and let's bring in our fire. Okay. And we're going to put it right over top of our building here, like so. Go back to the beginning. Let's put it right over our building. Now, to this fire, fire um, particle, add behavior. Motion tracking, match move. Let's go to our inspector for our match move properties. 
and under our source let's do the analyze motion okay now let's play this through now as you can see we have a much much better track as you can see look at that it's sticking right there like it's stuck there with glue whereas the last time when we tried to apply our motion tracking before the stabilization it wasn't quite as nice was it so this is a, a good tip for trying to track and uh, track shaky footage stabilize it first and you'll get a much better result as you can see it's sticking right there pretty daggone good okay so uh, I hope this little quick tip has taught you guys something I hope it helps and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time